Hello everyone, my name is Nils, environment artist at Sierra Division and welcome back to this new chapter. In this chapter we'll be leaving Fusion behind, except for some minor adjustments. We'll be exporting both our meshes from Fusion into our modeling program of choice, in my case 3ds Max, but before actually importing we need to convert it to actual usable meshes. We do this by either using Pi XYZ or Moments of Inspiration. I will go over both software, so don't worry. I'll also explain some problems that might arise when converting CAD files to polygons. So let's jump right into it. All right, so the first part is pretty straightforward. We have both our meshes here, our high and low. Before going into that, we want to maybe make some minor adjustments um, now that we saw the high poly model. So we can basically just attach these two and make this all into one object because these lines and details will be easily baked down anyway so we can save some polygons. Once you're happy with the result of your low detail and high detail you can just go over here and press export. Just make sure everything that you want exported is visible. If there's other stuff visible in the scene it would will export literally everything. So what you want to do is go to step file and you want to save it as a recognizable name of course in my case I have the STP underscore model 88 low and just click export. You can then repeat the same process for the high detail just give it a, another name. All right, after exporting our meshes from Fusion, we can open the first software that we're going to try out to convert our CAT data to polygons. The first software that we're going to use is called Pi XYZ. The software, you can get a seven day trial from their website and after that, you're gonna have to pay a pretty hefty sum. Um, if you don't wanna make that commitment yet, um, there's always a second software which we'll be going over in a bit, called Moments of Inspiration, which is a little bit cheaper. All right, without further ado, let's get straight into it. The importing process is pretty straightforward. You just have your guided import button, and then you select your low poly mesh as a step file, double click it, and you're greeted with this UI. You don't really have to change a whole lot here. The up axis is Z in my case, and other than that, I don't really change anything. We don't need to snap it to the ground or center it to the origin because that's already the case in our fusion scene. So we can just press execute. What this will do is, as you can already see, convert our CAD file to polygons. You have some buttons over here called wireframe if you don't want to see the wireframe, outlines, etc. You can already see how many triangles it has. Now, you can always change the triangle count by going to CAD and pressing Retessellate. What this will do is give you a little menu where you can have some presets as well. I usually don't add it manually, but in this case we might. So let's just pick a medium preset for now. So you're probably going to see the triangles change unless it's already imported as a medium preset. But we can try it out. We can press Execute. And as you can see, it went way lower. It halved it to 4.4K triangles. But we don't really want it that low. We can press retessellate again and play with the settings. Let's check how much a very high is. And that's a little bit too high. This might work for your high poly acid, by the way. If we don't really find anything um, that we want, you can always change the values. This is already a little bit better. I think this is a custom made one called high balanced. What I did was basically just change the max sag. So you can change it manually and you can save your preset or edit it. So if you're happy with this, you can export it. You can just export, click um, to drop down menu and save it as a .fbx. Then you just want to save it as a model 88 low, for example. You just press save 
and it will save your model. We will go over how it looks in Max and all the possible quirks it has, but let's first jump into moments of inspiration. Hello, welcome back to the second software. The software is called Moments of Inspiration and is a whole lot cheaper than PyXYZ. But it won't do a great of a job as PyXYZ does in converting your files into polygons. It will require you to clean up your mesh a ton more. But if that's the price you're willing to pay for a cheaper software, then go ahead. The UI is also pretty simple and the import process is pretty straightforward as well. You just go to your bottom left and click import. You select your mesh, the low STP file. You can also import IGS, but I decide to use step. You can press open and it will open your mesh inside of moments of inspiration. Now, as you can see, your mesh doesn't have polygons yet. Um, that only appears when you click file, export, and then export your file as an FBX and just name it whatever and press save. After that, the UI for meshing options will appear and you don't have a ton of options, but it's more than enough. So you can change the slider and as you can see, it will update on the go. If you want to see your poly count, it's up here in the top right. Now, the mesh is one big n-gon. If you don't want n-gons, you can press quads, triangles or triangles only. I would not advise doing that, as you will see, the mesh is quite messy. If you press endgons, you have a greater control of how you want your mesh to look like. So before opening this menu, this will be set to zero. And you can see that this is very high poly. What I would advise you to do is focus on the big shapes first. So let's change the angle to about eight. And if you're happy with the big shapes, meaning not the fillets, you can go ahead and click avoid smaller than. What this will do is avoid any angles smaller than what you put in. So let's do one, 0 0.1. And you can see these edges disappear here. Now, one quirk of um, exporting this to polygons is you can see the edges don't really line up quite well. This is just a limitation of the software. Um, you're just going to have to clean this up in your software of choice and connect all the vertices. So if you're happy with the mesh, you can press export or just press OK and it will export your mesh. We won't be using this mesh, but I will be going over the cleanup process for both. Um, so I see there. So once we imported our mesh um, from PyXYZ into our software of choice, you can see this is all one object. Um, not sure how it works in Blender, but in 3ds Max, there's a script called elements to objects, which will just separate it based on um, the elements. So now you can see we have separate elements. If you want to do it inside of PyXYZ, you can just go to PyXYZ and then you can go to mesh and explode part by connected meshes. So let me show you. This is one mesh and if we open the hierarchy, this only one occurrence, one body. If we go to mesh and explode by connected parts, we can see that now everything is nicely separated, just like we have in 3ds Max. Back in older versions of PyXYZ, I think it did it automatically on export, and you could select separate objects and retessellate them with different values. But in this version, I don't know if it's possible if you want to go back a version, uh, I would advise the 2021 update. Um, that one is a little bit more stable than this one. So I went ahead and already played with some settings in PyXYZ. And when I was happy with the result, I just exported it into my software of choice. Of course, you can go lower or higher. Depends what you want or depends what you want to use the asset for. 